Number 91. A sample of solid calcium hydroxide, which is CaOH2, is allowed to stand in water until a saturated solution is formed. A titration of 75.00 mils of this solution with 5.00 times 10 to the negative second molarity of hydrochloric acid HCl requires 36.6 mils of the acid to reach the endpoint. And then we have this little formula right here. And then they're asking for what is the molarity? Okay. Now, I think this question should be a little bit more specific, right? They should have said something like, what is the molarity of the solution? Or what is the molarity of the actual compound that we're looking for here? Now, since they gave us the molarity of the HCl component, and they didn't give us the molarity for CaOH, this is talking about the CaOH2, okay? So we're searching for the molarity of calcium hydroxide. Now, I love titration questions because chances are you could use a very, very handy formula. Let's see if we could use that formula here. I see the word titration. Titration just means we're adding acids and bases together. And that's what this formula is talking about. I have my base plus my acid and I get a salt and water. But in order to use a handy dandy formula, I need both a strong acid and a strong base. Now we've done tons of acid and base work right on the playlist if you wanna go check out those videos. Again, you can, but we should know our strong acids and bases, right? Is calcium hydroxide one of those? Yeah, calcium hydroxide is on the list. Calcium hydroxide is a strong base. So I'll say that this is an SB, strong base. And HCl, is that on our list of strong acids? You got it. Yeah, it is. So I have a strong base and a strong acid. So SB for strong base, SA for strong acid. When I see the word titration and I have both the strong base and a strong acid, I could use this handy dandy formula, which is this one. Okay. Now, it basically goes back to M1V1 equals M2V2. However, we could tweak this a little bit. We now just separate the parts into A's for acid. Whoop. And maybe I'll just star this up. So we have the acid on this side and the B's. MBVB is the base side. You could only use this equation for strong acid, strong base. Okay, guys? For the weak ones, it might not work out. Now, we set our acid in this case, which is the HCl and our base was the CaOH2. Now we're only adding a little bit of thing here that's different from M1V1 equals M2V2. It's we have to multiply by the number of H pluses on the acid side, and we have to multiply by the number of OHs on the base side. That comes from knowing how many H pluses and OH minuses are in your acid and base. So if I look at HCl, I only see that there's one hydrogen here. So in this case, there would only be one H+. Coming over to the base side, I see my OH is right here, but there's a two outside. That means that I have two OH minuses. So on this side, I'm going to be multiplying by one. And then on this side, I just put a two in for here, multiply by two. Let's put all the other numbers in here that I know. So let's see, the acid side, these values, right? They told me that I had 5.00 times 10 to the negative second molarity of HCl, so I know the molarity, 5.00 times 10 to the negative second molarity. And they said that it requires 36.6 mils of that acid. So I know what the volume is here, 36.6 mils. Now, the question is asking for the molarity of the base, so I don't know what this is, but they said that we're going to titrate with 75 mils of this solution, which is basically the calcium hydroxide, right? So, 75. We have everything accounted for. We have one variable, so let's just plug in the numbers. I'm just going to go from left to right. So we have one for the one H plus times 5.00 times 10 to the negative second 
times 36.6 equals x times 75 times 2. Now just note guys that for this equation you don't have to convert to liters doesn't matter what volumes you have on the you know on both sides they just have to match so if i'm using mills on one side i got to use mills on the other liters on one side liters on the other side but you don't have to convert okay so let's do some algebra here 5 times 10 to the negative second times 36.6 i get 1.83 equals 150, 75 times 2 is 150, and that's an X, so, you know, get rid of the X, or actually, you want to, you know, you know what I mean, right? You want to get X by itself, so we divide each by the 150, and I'll put the, I'll put the volume over here, so let's see, or actually, the molarity in this case, the molarity, 1.83 divided by 150. So I get 0 0.0122. I'm just looking for sig figs. I see that I have four sig figs in this number, 3 and 3. So my answer should be 3 sig figs, which is what we have here. So this is the molarity of the potassium, uh, hyd not potassium, the calcium hydroxide solution. And there you go. Not bad, guys. Handy dandy formula. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, all right? Thank you so much for listening to the video. I really hope this helped you. And good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in the next lessons, all right? Take care. Be well. See you later.